and you want to trick me with a pussy ass salad <laughs> with five acres of lettuce and one peanut and a cranberry on it, bitch? <laughs> Lavelle Crawford is in, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Performing at Caroline's tonight, tomorrow, Sunday. Yeah, and yeah. Sunday, man. And Sunday, man. Hey, I work them hard up here in New York. Yeah, you getting work in, man, man. Lavelle. Man, I, I, I can honestly say in my years of being in this business, one thing that's unique to you uh, is that I've never in my life heard someone refer to a salad as being pussy. <laughs> 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 Something like a, a pussy ass salad. It's a punk ass salad. Yeah. <laughs> It's a fuck ass salad. Salads ain't shit, man. They seem like they grow when you eat them. You know, it's something like you ever had a salad, you know, that you just keep eating. And you're like, damn, where all this lettuce coming from? Yeah, yeah. They don't never give you a lot of dressing with the shit. It's always just spurred lettuce and shit that you don't want. Garbanzo beans, things. Yummy. <laughs> See, you know, that's a vegetarian. Them people fart a lot. <laughs> vegetarian, <laughs> vegetarians fart for no Sweet reason. Sweet not now. vegetarian? No, no, you said yummy to the garbanzo beans. <laughs> Yeah, that's Tracy over there. Tracy, right? yeah, yeah Tracy. I seen uh, Mar Marlon Wayne trying to hit no! on you. <laughs> last week. I was like, I was like, I ain't never seen Marlon go that strong with no woman. Yeah. He went hard with you. He was like, I want to see that ass. You gonna smell your seat? <laughs> <laughs> and you a vegetarian, so I know it stank. <laughs> Let's see, stinks. I hate me. Smell, smell like smell like deep down New York sewage up there. Not not no, putting no, you crazy. down. I'm Don't talking about the vegetarian. Your fart, your fart. <laughs> Nothing. You can't all be dogging her fart out. You know, <laughs> fart supposed to stink. Right. Yeah. right, he's like, oh, her, her farts don't smell like that. <laughs> yes, it do. <laughs> Your farts stink. Pretty a woman is, the stanking her shit is. <laughs> the stanking her, her feces is? Yeah, man, there's something about it. It's like it's like they beautiful on the outside and they farts stink. <laughs> woman ugly, her farts smell like flowers. Yep. <laughs> Ugly as she is, she smells beautiful. You know, Whoopi Goldberg got some of the freshest farts in the game. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Yeah, I act like Whoopi didn't whoop somebody's ass before. So, so. So like Whoopi will whoop somebody's ass. I ain't afraid ass. of Whoopi. I choke her. I've been taking jiu jitsu. I don't know how to cross choke her. I'm, she did, and she understand about getting her ass whooped too, cause she said, "You man, you won't fight a man. You deserve to get your ass whooped." That's what she said. Whoopi said that. Yeah, she said that on the View. <laughs> then she it? said, that. "Remember that?" Oh, she was talking about Ray, Ray Rice. Rice. Yeah, she yeah. <laughs> she understood. <laughs> <laughs> she Whoopi might have had, had a her, fight before. Whoopi had her ass whooped before. You know, didn't have some money, money. <laughs> <laughs> Then got choked out. She can remember color purple. Mm. Remember uh, color she purple. Turned, she turned hard to beat you turned hard to beat you. Yo, Lavelle, that wasn't real, man. That was a that was a movie. Yeah, it was real. <laughs> that was almost like that. It was like I was watching real life. Like I was watching uh World Star. <laughs> <laughs> World Star in color. In color. Man. <laughs> I would never hit a woman. My uncle knocked the hell out of my auntie one time. He didn't knock her out. He threw her out the car at 35 miles an hour. Wow. She, she was talking shit. He was like 6'9". He, he weighed about 450. He had a size 23 shoe. Hand big in front of Lincoln. She gonna tell me, I know you ain't gonna hit me in front of these kids. I know you ain't gonna hit me in front of these kids. He didn't. He just un un reached around her, unlocked the car, and ejected her ass out in the street. Ejected. Uh, ejected her. She tucked and rolled for like about 35, 40 feet. That's not good. Oh, and then she, she lit. I know you're doing that uh, abuse, abuse stuff, but this was some real shit. I seen you crying on that commercial. That's not good. Uh, I was looking sway ass, faking like a motherfucker. Ain't nobody to hit his ass. He up here crying. He like, uh, uh, I'll be back. And I was like, come on, sway. That, that's some bullshit. No, that's uh, real, man. I, I, that's you the been, no you more been, org, man. You been, you, you been hit? No, nah, you nah, ain't nah, been man. hit. But, but I've seen people uh, nah. in my family hit. Yeah, but what happened when they got hit? I mean, if you must know the truth. Uh, they were talking shit. No, I defended them. Did you whoop their ass? Yeah, I, I don't want uh, yeah, to. Yeah, just say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this, I defended, this I defended the person, yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, if they, they didn't deserve to get their ass whooped. Yeah, yeah. Because I've seen some women too much talking, yeah. don't stay in their way class. 
Yeah. And my aunt Shirley, <laughs> my aunt Shirley did that, and she got to, she got through out of the car, mm-hmm. and she limped her ass back up to the car while we was at a red light, mm-hmm. put her seatbelt on. My sister in the car crying, like, "Why, well, Uncle Pooch, you do that to Aunt Shirley?" I said, "You shut your ass up before you do it to us." <laughs> oh. And she got oh, she, in the she car. She got back in the car. She got back in the car That's and got mm-hmm. home and put. And cooked us a delicious meal. Oh, that's real life. <laughs> yeah, that's real life. And I'm gonna tell you, that's called act right back in the '70s. Wow. Because she was talking shit. You know, you know. I mean, you know, sometimes you shut up, man. You can't. This dude was huge. He was like a giant. He wasn't violent anyway. She was all in his face. See, mm. I never hit a woman. I just, I can't do it. I you just shake leave. her. Yeah. Shake them? Yeah. No, hell no. They ain't, they ain't breaking. I ain't going to say. I got to, I got a future. If I, was, <laughs> if, I, if I was working at a nine to five, it made some choking in the house. <laughs> but I might make it. <laughs> I I might. You already <laughs> making it. Lavelle Crawford. No, no not yet. I ain't making it yet, Sway. Yo, I can't uh, believe you was dissing my commercial, man. No, I wasn't dissing you. <laughs> don't, don't take it that way. I just see you go. <laughs> I was like, what the <laughs> hell? That was, that was so Cinnabon. I was like that, that, my man sway all of that he could have just said that's you could have just said it's fucked up you know <laughs> brothers don't really cry they were like, ah, ah. you should have just like man, some bullshit you should have did like this some bullshit they could bleep you or something because you goes hard cry you don't man i don't give a fuck man i'll put on everything dog you you would hold on i thought you about to write a slow jam I wait for wait for the R and B to jump out. There. I thought he was on hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, I see that commercial. I was like, you know, I watch too much damn TV. I see that shit. I was like, oh my god, oh, That's a, the women, you know. <laughs> Yo, you got me crying. You got me crying right now, bro. They told you it's real. And, and, and I feel you. I feel you. Swear. You you doing it for the people. I, <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, say, I love you. Ain't like that because I seen how real you could get with. Kanye was over here, oh. and, and Kanye, Kanye kept jumping hard. He swayed up his face like, hold on, man. Hold on, man. I'm defending you. How, I'm defending you. How, <laughs> yeah, and, 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 look, and, look, and Kanye he was like, I don't care. I'm sick of everything. I said, man, get that man some medicine. He needs something. He, give him a duke a he need, He need a doo-doo. He got some toxins. He got some toxins in it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he had a toxin in him that, that needed to be let out. He was Sway was real cool. He had a like a world clay, world star, whatever, world serial poker face on. He was like, man, I'm defending you, bro. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, your head went up like this, like you about to chop him. You gonna chop him a little bit because he, you know, you look bigger than him. You gotta hurt him because he ain't really. He his mouth bigger than his weight. You know, oh. he needs to stay in his weight class. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, there ain't little small Negroes hollering and shit. I mean, you know how I'll kill you, little dude. Oh, <laughs> you your other side of your jaw be fucked up. What? Oh, oh, what? Bell Crawford is here, man. <laughs> Performing at Carolina tonight. <laughs> <laughs> ba- Tomorrow is Sunday. This not recognize him. <laughs> <Yeah>. Look, <laughs> look through that celebrity wire, man. I'm jumping out of this one. No, wait, no. <laughs> no, no. I had to wait the nigga. I'm going I'm to get out of here. Yeah, oh, that's right. No, no, you stand. We got, we got celebrity yeah. wife. Oh, okay. I, right. I thought I had to leave. All right. All right, 58 minutes into the hour. Lavelle Crawford has joined us, man. This dude's performing tonight, 7.30, 10.30 at Caroline's. Tomorrow, same time at Caroline's, as well as Sunday. How can people get tickets to your show? Hey, man, go right up to Caroline's, up at the door, and get your tickets. <laughs> or you can get them online. I think it's carolineonbroadway.com. I think it's something like that. A call. I don't know the number over there. I don't ever call. I just go over there. But um, you can get you walk in and get you some tickets. Whoopi gonna whoop your ass, man. I hope so. I hope she her name Whoopi. She better be able to fight. <laughs> Why not, y'all? She better learn how to fight. She understands though. She the one said it on the view. I'm gonna record press play after I whoop my ass. <laughs> so, so, now this is what you said. You came, you came in the wrong dojo, <laughs> right, man? But it's all love. It's all love. Though so, Tracy G, you got that celebrity wire? Yes, I do. We got to talk about two people who are having issues with their make believe fathers. The first one is Malcolm Jamal Warner. A lot of us know him better as Theo from the Cosby Show. He's finally facing truth when it comes to this media 
wildfire regarding Bill Cosby. You know, he's got 26 women that are calling him out for sexual assault. So he did an interview with Billboard and he expressed how, you know, it's been damn hard on him just seeing his television dad become the most talked about subject mm. in the most negative light. So here's his quote. He said, one of my men- one of my mentors, he's been very influential and played a big role in my life as a friend, just as it's painful to hear any woman talk about sexual assault, whether true or not. It's just as painful to watch my friend go through this. I can't really speak on any of the allegations because obviously I was not there. But Bill Cosby, I know him to be great to me and I know him as a great man for a lot of people. And then he just went on to say how he's been legendary and, you know, done history making right. things. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, 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 now he's, a, he's always been an inspiration to me. So I, it's so crazy how this came out, you know. But I, I admire him in so many ways. I mean, to have a date, dra- date rape drug that don't make you wake up for 30 years is just amazing <laughs> to me. <laughs> what do you mean by that? No. I'm just saying, these women come 30 years no. later talking about, <laughs> talking about he didn't touch them. I mean, 30 years later, Grandma, at, at, at Junebug's birthday party, <laughs> you talking about you had his booty pop in your mouth. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm just boy. saying, it, it's just so crazy. 30 years later, this is that's a hell of a date rate drug. Usually the next day, these women just... Coming out of the woodwork more than Tiger Wood. Let, let me ask you this. You're a comedian, and it was um, Hannibal, the comedian, who kind of, right. his, his stand-up routine is kind of what brought Sparked it. This, Sparked yeah. this. when he when he mentioned um, that. I mean, Would you do that? Like, was is it is this something that's off-limit for you? As, do you feel like that's too well, much? Or? I, I, would only, I would only state the facts. I yeah. would never. See, like, I joked about the date rate drug, but I wouldn't say, oh, really? you know he did it. But, I mean, I, he should have he should have held off on that. Yeah, I think so. It's some loyalty. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, Bill Cosby probably, you know, he, he wouldn't be who you are if it wasn't for Bill Cosby because, you know, Hannibal just really got famous and, mm. you know, and he might just saunter out. We haven't heard and, from him. Who, Hannibal? Yeah, what well, he had. Well, he probably hadn't. Yeah, he was, he was, <laughs> you know, Bill Cosby <laughs> might holler at him, you know. Now, Bill Cosby might get him, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, he he go to sleep around three thirty in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's why I, like, I be seeing them gangsters. You know, trying to be gangsters at fifty and stuff. They got to do drive bys around one thirty in the afternoon. <laughs> Cause they ain't bad by eight forty five. Man, I gotta get my I gotta get my eight hours. Uh, uh, <laughs> my gout to kick in. Oh boy! You know, but, my gout to kick in. But, well. but, 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 I, I, but I, I don't know. I, he should have. He should have laid out that. I, I think he really didn't know what he was getting. In. Sometimes comedians get to talking, and you know, nowadays you gotta be careful. Because everybody got a damn camera phone, yeah. and they put your ass out there so bad. They be yeah. waiting for you mm-hmm. to say something that they can run with, and people run with it so fast. But these allegations that came out, and they went away. They came out again, and you know, and, that, and so many women jump on the bandwagon. I'm like, mm. damn, Bill should be tired by that. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, I, I mean if 26 women. I mean, dang, Camille didn't get no time with it. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Yeah, next, next subject. Next. Up, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> how did they stay together? What else you got, Tracy? Somebody else. Don't, don't listen to Lavelle. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> somebody else is having some hard times with their daddy is little Wade. So last year we saw when he went on Twitter, he dropped the bomb, publicly aired out his home cash money records, took aim at Birdman, blaming him for the delay of his album, The Carter Five, also confirming his plans to leave the label sooner rather than later. And now in January, he's coming with more insults because he just had a surprise release of his mixtape called Sorry for the Wait 2 and the first track it's a remix to OT Genesis Coco and he is swinging at Birdman who kept this shit together nigga me that's who who was that when niggas left us nigga me that's who cash money gets an army I'm a one man army and if them niggas coming for me I'm going out like Tony Yeah, that right. Ugly duckling. <laughs> yeah, that, that, uh, he hit himself right in the chin with that one. Ugly duckling, it ain't no lie. And, and let me just say this. He need to go back to Birdman because he sound like he was crying. 
<laughs> that old rap sound like my daddy didn't love me and I don't know. I would have paid nothing, but I can't believe he ain't my friend no more. That was that was just bogus. That was just really wasting my time. I, you know what? That, that wasted some of my hearing power. I could have heard something real important, like you know, domestic violence dot org. <laughs> No more. No, no more. more. No more. No more. That's right, Sway. No, no more. more. Sway, Sway, Sway. Ah. Will, Sway, can I see a, like an impromptu cry? <laughs> <laughs> just, just break one off for me just before you hit Oakland. Because you're an old town boy. Yeah. And that's like one of my second homes. And yeah. I, the first time I was in Oakland, I was at the end zone. That Brother end came zone. out. He was a fan. He was came out there. Man, I love you, man. Jumped out of the car. His nine millimeter fell right out of his waist. <laughs> for real? For real. real end zone For on real. Street. And, I, and I waited right there while he picked it up and put it back in his waist and I shook his hand and gave him an autograph. And yeah. my wallet. In your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> where, 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 where I stay at with my grandmother lived right down the street from the end zone yeah. off of High Street. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah but big shout out to Rick Sullivan, man. Putting yeah. a lot of comedians and Jeffries. You ever yeah, go to Jeffrey? Of course. Yeah. Jeffries. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, you know, Lil Wayne, I hope you and your daddy get back together. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my daddy got back together after 30 years, and you know, he came back in my life and told me he was gay. Did he? <laughs> Yeah. He yeah. came back to tell you that? Did he tell you? <laughs> no, he didn't tell me that, but he came back to <laughs> tell me about prostate cancer and then also that he was he was gay. Yeah. He was married to a white man for 14 years. And he, <laughs> That's yeah. messed up. Yeah, how did you respond to that? Man, I just said, well, damn. I mean, I used to <laughs> <laughs> you could have stayed around. I could have had a gay daddy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would have been all right. I mean, yeah, but he's a bodybuilder, too. You look him up. He, he won a bunch of competitions. Mm -hmm. And I was just like... I was like, man, all the time these damn white men be fucking black men over here. This white man fucking my dick. <laughs> Sway, and, say goodbye, y'all. Hey, thank everybody for coming, Sway. Oh, okay. Pull and, up. And, and, and my mama, pull and, up. And my mama talking about, my mama talking about, I wasn't enough woman for him. And no, you wasn't enough man for him. And my mama have a nice little mustache. It just was, it wasn't enough to keep him in the house. Ooh, pull out. <laughs> it's time to go, Lavelle. I gotta go. Man. <laughs> you, gotta go you, know, you you don't kill everybody in one routine here, man, including your daddy. Hey, 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 hey. man. Big shout out to Lil Wayne. Hope everything work out with your father. <laughs> <laughs> big big shout out to Malcolm Jamal Warner for keeping it on the low of what he knows about his daddy. Oh. He, kept it, he, he got some hush money. That, that's some good hush money. Big shout out to Whippy Goldberg. He want to swing. I see you on 48th Street. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Lavelle Crawford on Caroline tonight, tomorrow, <laughs> and Sunday. We want to thank Action Bronson for coming by. Yep. Uh, pick up his new single as well. And then also we want to thank Naomi, Naomi. Campbell for coming by. Check her out on Empire. And uh, uh, I'm headed to Oakland. It's battle with Mr. FAB and Arsenal. And then I'll be in Atlanta with T.I. and nice. uh, DJ Drama for our, my one shot. Next time, I, next time I come up here, I'm doing the five fingers of death. If I only do two fingers. All right. Okay. <laughs> We're going to put you to the test, Lavelle. That's right. I wanna, All right. I, I was, I'm going to go through it. I'm going to go through it. No, Heather B, don't even look at me cross-eyed like you're doing right now. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just looking. And she calling me out. For, for real? For yeah. real? No, nah, for real. All right. Okay, next and time. You make sure you change chairs, uh, miss, down there. Change chairs. <laughs> Tracy, I'll tell people, people reach you, Tracy. <laughs> All my garbanzo beans. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, at is Tracy G I T S T A C Y G. Now the B, how can they reach you? Hit me up at the Happy Hour W H B on Instagram and Twitter. Also go to the Happy Hour Heather B dot com. Yo, hit up Lavelle Crawford directly. Tell him how right. they can reach you, man. Right, you can hit me up on Facebook and you're also on Twitter, Lavelle's the comic. Uh, Twitter.com and also on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, holler at me in the street if you if you real about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm at real sway <laughs> on up. Twitter and Instagram. Talk it's your it's, shit, it's way up on the teardrop. Okay. Teardrop.com. <laughs> <laughs>